I did the part uh, number one, I would say I did the part number one. I did the... I did uh, something on Slovenian genetic DNA. What is the real Slovenian genetic DNA? What, what, what type of DNA do Slovenian people have? What is this all about? Uh, and did so because of tremendous interest. Uh, let me explain what kind of interest, first of all. Um, the interest was as follows, basically. Um, everybody wanted me to see myself in one. Hungarians claim that I'm Hungarian. Uh, it's not that I didn't like Budapest. I really liked Budapest. Budapest is really beautiful uh, and uh, it's good people in Budapest. I like Budapest. Uh, however, um, we have no Hungarian DNA in us. There is no Hungarian DNA in us. There was one time uh, that uh, Hungarians, that's Huns, entered Slovenia, but that was very, very briefly. So except for mixing with the Hungarian people during Austro-Hungarian Empire, but this stuff like this did happen in eastern part of Slovenia, like Prekmuria and so on. We don't actually have any connection to Hungarian people. Uh, Hungarian people, however, do have a lot of big connection to us. Hungarian people have a tremendous connection to Slovenian people because because of this year now I only demonstrated you what Slovenia was uh, lands that Slovenia lost in north western part of Slovenia but I didn't talk to you anything about Hungary uh, so the lake that you see Balaton all this, this was all populated with the Slovenian population here, all this. Uh, it said that Slovenia and Slovakia are the same, so that this population here uh, is Vienna, all this, this is all greatly, greatly, greatly intermixed with one another. Here you have a pool of uh, Slovenian genetic uh, you have a pool of German genetic and you have a pool of Hungarian Hun uh, genetic. The Hungarians, Hungarians are Asiatic people, these are Asian people, uh, which are greatly intermixed with uh, Slovaks, Slovenians, uh, also Croats, uh, although not as much with the Croats as with the Slovenian people. Uh, and believe it or not, also with the Polacks and also with uh, Ukrainians. The politic is very, very anti-Ukrainian, but uh, the Hungarians are a mixture of what I stated right now. Now, they are also mixed with the Romanian people, However, on the Romanian side, because the Hungary extended all the way to what you see here is Brasov. They used to have entire portion of the Carpathi of the uh, yeah, I gotta be careful with this with this uh, of the Carpathian pool of the low uh, fertile lucrative uh, land. All these cities, villages, this all used to belong to Hungarians, which they intermix with the Romanians and so on. Uh, Vojvodina, this part of Vojvodina, this here belonged to Hungarians and so on. They took for themselves a beautiful part here uh, where easily crops can be grown, uh, fertile fields. This is just Hungarian. This is what the Hungarian is. Yeah. However, they did not enter Slovenia. This is the thing. Um, 
what in this video it's not this not dedicated to connection between the Slovenian and between the Hungarians this is this video is going to be dedicated to connection of Slovenian Croatian connection what kind of connection this is what this is uh, everybody wanted me to see myself in one uh, Italians uh, have their own uh, they demanded from me to see myself in Romans and so on um, you know Romans managed uh, all the way they managed all the way to to England as you know they they entered uh, Britain and they Romanized uh, good portion of the Britain uh, I think what with exception of Scotland or whatever uh, they conquered Britain entirely and they stayed there for quite some time and uh, opposed to what was the situation in Slovenia uh, they greatly intermixed with uh, British uh, that's why the British look very different from on the south than what they look up north it's a big difference but opposed to Britain this is what's interesting opposed to Britain uh, with exception of recruiting uh, barbarians, uh, Celts, Illyrs, they did not have success here. They did not greatly intermix here. Okay, they did have their settlements. There was settlements here, uh, but Illyrs and Celts prevailed here. They did, uh, I'm going to say, even Romanize themselves. They did uh, submit themselves into a Roman uh, Empire without, you know, maybe this is why they got away with it. Uh, 50% off, I don't know how I would say that, but they got away with it pretty easily because they did they, they did not oppose to the Roman uh, military as if they would crush you. I mean, this was too close to Rome here. And so, um, yeah, not so much of the Roman influence as Italians demanded for me to see it. And uh, a secondary thing is, uh, Austria, I did, I did, I did discuss Austria and German, therefore German influence on Slovenia. Uh, what I can, what I can say to you is, uh, my grandfather got to fight on what was known Fronta Isonzo for the Germans. It's a classic. Uh, he fought for the Germans, for the Austrians. He fought on the on the Western Front. He fought against Italians in an Austrian uniform, and uh, then he headed toward uh, east to fight Russians in Austrian uniform. This is where he was actually even captured and spent a good time uh, as a captive uh, in in a Russian. Uh, in Russia, basically, you know, what is here to say? Um, tale of one single man. He fought on two fronts. This was just a World War One, just just to be during the World War Two. This is amazing, isn't it? Because he fought the Italy on Western Front in Austrian uniform. He fought Russia on Eastern Front in Austrian uniform during the World War I just to find himself 20-something uh, years later uh, uh, in the city of the Novomest, where we are from, uh, at, the, at the local train station with my father, uh, with... Uh, with my aunt booked for Auschwitz departure. Isn't that fucking amazing? Isn't that amazing when you say about Adolf Hitler? Maybe this is really something to think about, you know? 
maybe this is something, this is maybe this story, maybe this is really something that should give you something to think about. Uh, Twenty something years later, found himself in his city, also known as a Rudolfsfeld in German language, uh, booked at the at the main train station in the Novo Mesto for departure to the Auschwitz, where Germans wanted to deport entire family. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that crazy tale of one what became actually decorated? World War II veteran, decorated in World War I, he got an Iron Cross, and uh, decorated in the World War II as he ended up as a secretary of the city assisting partisans uh, with necessary medications and so on. They did not book them for Auschwitz because, uh, because of uh, this is what's interesting, because he would be assisting underground the partisan movement with medications. They booked them for the Auschwitz because my father went and he had stolen, not stolen, but hidden, yeah, stolen in a way, fishing rods from the German officers that were fishing on the, on the Kirka River. Uh, under our house in the city of the Novo Mesto, we were also very close to the Kirka River, and that's a bridge. And father went and he had hidden this fishing poles that he had seen the Germans left when they were fishing. And somebody saw him doing that, and they went, they, they told Germans, guess what? Entire family had to, uh, was already at the train station in the city of the Novo Mesto. And it was thanks to a brother from uh, my grandfather, the family uh, from, from, uh, from my grandfather, not brother, but cousin, family from, uh, from my grandfather, that uh, it was uncle that I had, who was, however, in the German military. He was not in a German military, but he was in a, in a uh, white guards, white guard military, German military, Ger basically German, German uniform, basically, who rushed to the train station to rescue my father and my grandfather and uh, my aunt from being uh, sent for the extermination purposes to the Auschwitz. Isn't that fucking interesting? So this is one tale of this little nation about how the things went on, what one man have gone through, huh? Can you imagine that? Decorated World War II veteran who, however, had to watch with his own eyes is still in his life. He passed away when I was four years old. He had to watch with his own eyes. His grandson being subjected to extermination procedure known as MKUltra. Isn't that fucking amazing? Uh, it was my grandfather whom Serbs were afraid of. And I think it was my grandfather who just had to be killed. I am sorry to say that. My father claimed to me that it was my grandfather who uh, had to go to home for elderly people because he played with MKUltra. Now, that's not true. It was my father who pushed MKUltra all the way. And it was my grandfather who did not allow MKUltra to go too far. He was very, very watching, watchful over these things and was a thorn because he was a highly decorated individual. And you could not go against him without suffering consequences. Uh, I'm not going to say directly with the Belgrade, but with a man like this, you could not fuck with because he was uh, judges. You, he was ambassador for United Nations and so on. He was he was too known of a person. This is one tale about one man what he had seen with his own eyes. And now in this video, I can give you a background of what I have seen with my own, what I tasted on my own skin, basically. 
This video is going to be about the Croatia. Everybody, including Croatia, demanded, and it's it's very sad to note this. Um, the last the last thing I remember about this minister, Croatian minister Gr Grgovic. No. Gergic, is it Gergic? Gergovic. No. This one here. Well, what is his name already? I don't. He was very much involved in MK Ultra. Gerlich, Gerlich, uh, Gordon Gerlich Radman. Uh, he was very, very involved also in in MK Ultra. This man was very involved in MK Ultra, and Serbs Serbs uh, learn about him, uh, and I believe they also had a silicon mask created uh, thanks to. Uh, Psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, Milan Kuch and police, they were literally playing with issues pertaining to uh, Gordon Gerlich Rodman, literally here in Slovenia also, presenting one in the most disgusting way. Uh, however, this guy was at times truly bizarre. I felt that he didn't have self-control, that he was completely otkvacheni, that he was completely that he got off the chain basically uh, at times. I don't think he had a self-control. I don't think he had a capacity to uh, to to process uh, properly things. Uh, panicking, uh, unstable, mentally unstable, uh, going into a category of people that. A little bit this way, a little bit that way, and a little bit no fucking way. Wasting time and causing a lot, a lot of harm, I believe. He was an individual who also suggested me that he made an agreement with the Slovenian side that I would not even get cured whatever was a kidney, liver, whatever the problem might have been, whatever they had done with me. Uh, if I would talk against anything, if I would say against Croatia, that I would not even get cured and stuff like this. Now, the Croats, yeah, that... Napravio sam ugovor sa slovenačkom stranom and this and that and so on and so forth. And so... Um, Taking in consideration that this this guy is definitely this is definitely demented guy. This this under my criterion, this guy is suitable only for one thing, and that's basically for the prison sentence uh, without any kind of probation, parole, anything like this. Uh, this is. Uh, uh, we are talking about whom with exactly we Slovenian people are related to, right? So that's what, what, what we are talking about. Um, this individual here, uh, Marko Perković, Marko Perković uh, appeared in MK Ultra and have this is a Croat Marko Perković, right? He appeared in MK Ultra, he insisted me, he insisted me uh, that we should become brothers, uh, and he positioned himself in a role of demanded for me to be his mentor, mentor of the Croats, uh, that I should brother them, be brother them, I don't know how you say that, but be brother them. 
so that they could be like us, Slovenian people. Well, this is not the way it is. You know, this this sounded fantastic. This sounded good. This sounded for what I was fighting all along. I was trying to help Croatians as much as I possibly could have uh, from the day one uh, before even the war started in Croatia with uh, Franjo Tudjman. Franjo Tudjman was selected, just so that you know, you're, you're talking to the right person. The Swedish side can, can confirm this. Franjo Tudjman was selected as a representative of the Croats, as the one who would become eventually a president of the Croats, definitely, uh, during his and mine second visit to the Sweden. And this was not at my age four. At my age four, he did go to the Sweden, uh, and then he returned back, and it was all kinds of stuff. Uh, but there was another visit he did, uh, and uh, it was, you know, I am from that circle. I am from that from that kind of circle. Franja Tudjman literally was selected as a Croat president, as a, somebody who was going to lead the Croatian independence literally through my case by literally observing him how he acts, how he behaves around me, how he reads my ideas uh, during MK Ultra, literally by foreign politicians, royalties which they observed him in the circle where he was moving he did go, uh, these people did go out of Croatia more often than what is written uh, under their resumes um, so th this this sounds so fantastic, it sounds so good, it sounds so nice, but really what is our relation to the Croatia and what exactly, how exactly I see Croatia as well. For one thing I'm going to say to you, there was no Croatian psychiatric hospital, they would not have me inside and not even hospital. And when I say this stuff, um, how the fuck do you go and you tell me something. Um, you know, the person that is drugged up doesn't have a capacity to even discern between the regular hospital and between the psychiatric hospital. I'm sure that you understand that. It depends on which department. You throw him inside and, you know, Croats enormously, uh, despite even having me inside of the psychiatric hospital. And in Bosnian hospital or Herzegovian hospital, psychiatric hospitals. Now, why the fuck would you put somebody inside of the psychiatric hospital in the first place? I mean, why, why would you want to do this kind of stuff on the first place? Uh, for them, it was uh, like I earlier uh, you know, suggested for this guy that he was all demented, that he was all cluster fucked basically with minds scattered all over the place. Uh, to retaliate, to retaliate for the stuff that it's like, um, yeah, okay, okay, I'm going to make this stuff simple, okay, okay, do you know what is uh, animal abuse, okay, you know animal abuse, what animal abuse is, but this is the same shit, this is the same shit, retaliate for torture, basically. Retaliate for something that the tortured person did or whatever, uh, because you have the power, because you have authority over the animal, and you can do. So they saw in me animal. That is one thing. The Croats is very important. Croats saw in me animal. They did not see in me human being. And that animal continued to grow, uh, and due to amount of crime, due to degree of crime, the Croats were involved against me. Uh, uh, they started to see in me mentally ill individual because mental illness is an excuse. This is upgraded because you're now you don't have a you don't have a problem with an animal, but you have a with a human being that you have caused this to. So the most legitimate and the fastest and the easiest excuse for that type of mistreatment for the torture is just acknowledging one is mentally ill. And sure enough, if you're going to continue to torture, sicken one. Um, he's going to become mentally ill, and, uh, and voila, you're going to be, you know, he's mentally ill. And how did the Croats apologize this mental illness? The Croats had a different ways to rationalize, to apologize this mental illness. Uh, one of the most efficient ways, together with the Serbs, 
the the Croatian methods did not do not be fear from the Serbian methods. The MK Ultra when it comes to MK Ultra methods used, this is like completely identical. And then you have this Slovenian side that was administering everything, and the Croats uh, basically see themselves in a Slovenian side uh, due to necessity to simply protect their statehood, uh, their credibility. Uh, unlike Serbs who wanted to conquest here, Slovenia, own one, uh, Croats have had different interests, they had more tactical approach, knowing that they are not related to Slovenian people in any way beyond, I will explain these issues, I will explain these issues. Uh, they had this tactical interest that's basically financial and during the war Domovinsky Rat it was a military interest they had. They had to free themselves, liberate the country, uh, and I was a great espionage tool, especially because I favored Croatia. So because I favored Croatia, they assumed immediately they have ability to abuse, to torture, first of all, because I would not complain against one. And they rationalized this further with the Slovenian side as a form of mental illness even. Because they believe the more torture is going to be, the more I will persist defending Croatia, uh, the more mentally ill I'm going to be. Because it's, it's all based on abuse and on betrayal. Those are two things. And those are keys... Those are the keys for the mental illness. Unless, of course, the person that continues, that was myself, to enforce this type of politic, they also had a lot. They had, they had a big problem with the Rachan. They have a big problem with the Croats, with the Message and others that uh, were in the game causing harm to Croatia. It was not everybody so pro-Croatian. You have to understand they also had another friction inside of the... Croatia that worked straight for the Serbia with the Slovenia and so on. Yeah, so it was all kinds of uh, turmoils, all kinds of currents inside and this stuff. And but let's analyze the Croatian side to see basically how that stuff went. Nothing. I was just at the, at the petrol gas station here in Lochna, and the Croatian guy ran. Uh, 10 euros through the machine to make sure that my 10 euros that I pay for the gas are not fake. Uh, the guy I think is from Zagreb and has, has some kind of apartment building in the Zagreb. Uh, well, the thing is that my father is 92 years old and is being infected deliberately. Blinded, made blind, thrown in a home for elderly people, uh, used as a useful tool to cause as much harm as possible to his own son. Something to psychiatrist Peter Kapshev stated with a question, he will be even used to get me killed. Take precious time away from me instead of being assisted medically at the hospital due to injuries they committed that this is the way they would drag the game and father was the most efficient tool possible used to drive me utterly insane it's called gaslight no they organized themselves element in whichever way was the most suitable and believe they're gonna continue to run some kind of game with my identifying people like until i'm gonna fall down there basically a snap like that and this is going to be it so what can i say um i i pretty much explained the methods between the serbs and between the croats when it comes to mk ultra did not uh, defer croats treated me like an animal quite often uh, and often and sometimes not they wanted me to feel uh, at uh, this Turk Ban Yelacic, they had this celebration, Croatian independence and so on, like uh, I am number one and so on. And But, you know, the thing about it is that uh, I don't understand really this stuff. Uh, you, 
go and you do stuff like this to to somebody from the neighboring country uh, as well as mine leave one the fuck alone leave it alone this person why do you bring him to Croatia you do all this circus with him torture him torture throughout Croatia the biggest one was in Zagreb city inside of the apartment buildings uh, it's impossible to explain I'm gonna take uh, time maybe about 10 hours maybe go to Zagreb and point to the buildings and explain what was inside what went on inside of the buildings um, you know in the mid ages the Srednem Veku you know in the mid ages they used to torment people like uh, what exactly is the torture what exactly is the torture you know uh, torture in my case was uh, this allowing me to sleep this allowing me to get rest inside of the apartment buildings in Zagreb I'm just taking Zagreb I'm not taking Split or Zadar or Rijeka or other locations Vukovar also whatever location the torture went through entire Croatia I'm talking about the capital of Croatia Zagreb with people that uh, you know got involved in it and uh, many were jobless and uh, uh, interact with me and uh, it all comes to external factors yes if you are a person involved in MK Ultra, a typical person that they were doing uh, a sting in certain part of the town uh, you know that person is subjected to the to the all kinds of factors whenever meeting the NK ultra subject that happens here and there but there is that uh, main factor is his life you know maybe unemployment maybe all kinds of problems uh, financial problems you know uh, most often you know and uh, you know people will stay inside uh, door in indoors uh, they don't go out exercise you know live healthy life uh, many of these people are lazy they don't want to go and do the stuff they don't want to go look for the job they don't want to go do this thing they don't want to do things uh, maybe they tell them you know through different ways maybe the person goes and apply in many companies and doesn't get job you go to the local employment office and you have an asshole that is playing with you and so on and in between they suggested that is this case this guy from MK Ultra you know and it's a start to grow mental illness and then you come and you meet this person from MK Ultra, and you hear from others, you know, they tell you, by the way, with the way I mistreated him, and then you see yourself mistreating him, and you mistreat him, and others mistreat him, and it's a whole fucking building mistreats him, and you hear people yelling and screaming without having any kind of sleep, uh, sleep getting death threats, even physical fights, even punched. This is Croatia. This is Croatia. Croats did absolutely everything possible to get me killed through the stress, through the uh, trauma, you know, trauma. Trauma is in Ljubljana, it, uh, uh, near UKC is where Josip Bros Tito would deliver me already since my childhood. This is what this MK Ultra case was all based on, trauma. Yeah, so they have a complete agreement with the Slovenian psychiatric system as far as torture uh, completely basically uh, through the mirror and the mirror was a Slovenia uh, they could uh, see themselves uh, beamed um, like if you put the mirror like this and you know uh, and you look and I, I see this picture from my from my perspective uh, I get to see, let's say, that, uh, what is it, that, uh, that meter right here, right, this, this thing here, temperature meter, uh, reader, um, thermometer, um, thermostat, I should say, uh, you know, I do it like this, and what you see, the picture that you see, that, that you're looking at, in this case, I'm looking at the screen, that will be Slovenia, in this this meter here this would be basically Serbia 
So the Serbs, the same thing. When they will look from that perspective right there that you see from that meter, they would if they would see straight into the screen. Screen will be Slovenia, and uh, is it uh, is it like you see me? That would be me, Croatia. Basically, the Serbs and Croats look one another through the mirror, basically using Slovenia basically all three fractions however they did everything possible they could to get me killed I don't have actually when it comes to the Croatian statehood anything else to say it's a fucking disgrace it's 2024 this is July uh, actually excuse me August the 6th 2024 and I just told you what happened to me maybe one hour ago at the at the local at the local at the local gas station they just they simply could not made it here they simply could not made it here and please don't don't come now it's it's enough of this stuff they simply could not made it here to the door one million crowds involved in this stuff who knew watched together with the Bosnians they did not made it but I made sure that the department where my father is, that it would be Bosnian people, Croatian people, and we have a Serb down below as a, acting as a main doctor for my father. They sure made sure that I would keep my mouth shut so that they would keep me like this under the throat. Yeah, so don't say anything because mi smo već napravili ugovor and so on and so forth. That's a Croatia in a nutshell. I mean, I don't have anything else. I'm not happy about it. Obviously, I'm angry about this stuff. Uh, but that's a Croatia. That's a Hrvatska. And then they will take me to the islands. They will take me to the sea. And they will pose next to me. And, uh, yeah, you know, you get your five, ten minutes so they can pose next to you. And you also meet some people back and forth. Mostly, you sleep. You are drugged up. Uh, whenever you are needed for whatever you are needed and return back and so on. I was given a good lessons by um, uh, I don't I don't like even to see this anymore. I don't I don't I was given a good lessons about how to see myself uh, uh, in respect to my family, how to see with the parents, how to behave, how to uh, how to view different people in Slovenia, uh, how to see myself within, uh, and uh, what to think about it, you know. And uh, what the fuck can I say? Thank you very much, man. Because uh, I need it. That's basically the stuff that I needed. That's what the fuck I needed. I needed to I, I needed to understand how basically to see because obviously I'm mentally retarded. Yeah. Well, uh, the thing is, uh, like I previously have explained, uh, from the torture it goes into the mental illness. It, it's safe for me to say that Croatians consider me like a odpadek, odpadek, like a trash, like a smith, smetcher. You know, that's what I was. I was a sick, mentally ill, schizophrenic, demented, degenerated, whatever the fuck I was. Whatever they saw in me, that's fine with me. Uh, in a nutshell, to end this video, in uh, Croatia, uh, they have uh, a large uh, Bosnian, that's a Muslim minority, and a large Serbian minority. Uh, I uh, had to be considered as a as a as a as a smetcher, as a trash, as a garbage, because uh, um, because of the minorities, because in a Croatia they have I don't know how many Serbs, and to get along with the Serbs that went on in a Karlovac, don't even try to say not from Karlovac to Petrinja to Bielovar to all these cities and so on. Uh, you have to you have to portray to the Serbian side that you that they are part of the country which you founded. So if you're gonna get uh, good, if you're gonna get friendly with this guy, uh, you're gonna lose entire Serbian minority. This is the way. Even you know, I, I'm not gonna get into was it what Croatian 
friction, fraction, whoever, you know, interpreted these things. But these things were completely equally interpreted afterwards throughout the Germany and throughout the Britain and throughout, you fucking name it, in France and Italy and everywhere. They tried to diversify, spread this extermination procedure to uh, a soften the impact of the genocide as much as possible. Man, too bad I'm not mentally retarded, huh? Too bad I'm not so mentally ill, because the stuff I'm talking about actually makes sense. And then there is a Srebrenica. There is always something even worse, and I was the one who was guilty for Srebrenica. It's not that Serbian side was preparing for Srebrenica for three years. For three years, they tried to desperately talk me into giving approval for, for Srebrenica genocide. It was notorious. Everybody knew about Srebrenica. Serbs got rejected from the British, from Americans, from uh, Western countries many, 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 many fucking times. For three years on the road about the genocide in Srebrenica and finally made an arrangement with it and even got approval from me for Srebrenica, whichever way they did, whatever the fuck I, whatever they did with me. However, it took them three years and it's something similar to the Istra. In Istria, that uh, Slovenian side, Milan Kuchan did everything possible he could uh, to get the Istra. Uh, uh, from the, you know, the Slovenian side that would go and divide Croatia uh, with the Yugoslav military is, I don't have to go into that stuff, right? I mean, uh, yeah, unless, um, unless, unless Yugoslav military would be taking down Croatia, uh, why would I agree to attack Croatia? Why? Where in the fucking world would that be? This is something that Milan Kuchan had a tremendous problem because he didn't, he didn't get it right. He didn't get it right first and second and third. And the news already came out that he didn't get it right, but he didn't give up. He, he got Croatians with him uh, coming to me that this is okay, that this will be okay to take uh, and, and so on and so forth. And so they twisted and twisted and twisted and twisted for so long till they got some kind of approval from me again. And this is the way it went. But, you know, Croatia used this excuse as a reason to me. This is what they reasoned to me. A criminal. It, it, this was not the only thing. I'm just using this as examples. The Croats always, just like as Serbs, they always were looking for something and all this shit was always coordinated with Germans, with the British, with Italians, with so on. They, they always, it's, that's why MK Ultra is a trauma. They always build on abuse and abuse and abuse and abuse. But something this shit is obviously being useful for. Otherwise, they wouldn't be doing this kind of stuff. You know, they wouldn't be doing this kind of stuff if this stuff would not be useful, it was, in a way, this would be useful if you would want to put Yugoslavia back together. Uh, you know, uh, the Serbs could always prove, and so the Croats could too, that it was, in fact, Slovenian guy who did this, that last piece of the Yugoslavia that they need to put back on the picture. So, it was Yugoslavia in making, just I made the party really, really stink. So the Croats tortured me in, in Croatia and they couldn't help me and save me and so on. And the more they were saving me, the more they tortured me. They couldn't do it also because of the uh, 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 Bosnian people, Muslim population and because of Serbs. So this is a Croatia in a nutshell. Uh, there was people that were excited about going and becoming a part of Croatia, Slovenian people, including the people from the psychiatric hospital. Uh, one individual in particular who got somebody, I understand, even killed. However, according to MK Ultra scenario, two days ago, there was a man killed here on the EG. Uh, 
the 40 year old man was uh, uh, killed on the eag uh, because uh, just as if uh, something out of NK Ultra scenario uh, he was doing a noise, he was jumping, uh, he was climbing the fences, uh, he was making all kinds of things and so on. Um, and, well, the police came and they grabbed him and it probably was like a moment, like, you know, I can't breathe moment, you know, the, the I can't breathe, like a Black Lives Matter, BL, no, 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 no. I can't breathe. Uh, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. There you go. There you go. I can't breathe. We have a why I can't breathe moment here in Slovenia just a few days ago, how which according to MK Ultra scenario. Uh, Mr. Mesic, uh, which is a famous leftist here in Slovenia. That's a very, very famous leftist uh, in uh, a George Floyd moment. We had a George Floyd moment in Slovenia just a few days ago. Uh, Moon, Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon, uh, Mr. Moon had the moment pertaining to this man during MK Ultra would be what exactly what you see here according to MK Ultra. However, together with Mr. Alish Alish Hoys. These are people that love nothing more than psychiatry. My God, these are fucking people that are addicted to the physical torture. Guantanamo, basically. Guantanamo, fucking Guantanamo. And this is what Slovenia continues to advertise me. I am 52 years old. I don't know if I'm going to wake up tomorrow. And this is what they continue to enforce, advertise mercilessly. Without a second thought, this is what they continue to push, basically. This is the issue they discuss this, I can't breathe moment, this individual, four years old, etc., etc. Et so you see, we have a garbage here. And so it was a people that already saw themselves in some kind of a greater Croatia and all kinds of stuff like this. Well, I am going to stop here because I have to go and do other stuff. Yeah, why not? Uh, I don't consider myself as a Slovenian. I don't know anything about the Slovenian people, what they're going to do about it, how they're going to do these things. Uh, but I personally don't see myself as a part of Slovenia anymore. Uh, if you like it, yeah. There is a Belgrade not too far from here, just about uh, 70 kilometers from here. And his name is Zagreb. I was going to discuss the issues behind Croatian and Slovenian genetic elements, but I don't see necessity for that. I don't know if it makes any sense. Yeah, uh, Slovenians did populate greatly Croatia, uh, or it was uh, that Croats take that from Slovenia, the land, or whichever way it was. In Slovenia, people just somehow don't complain about that. I don't think that we should complain about these things anyways. I, I am not going to go into it, but there is, there is, there is a, 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 it's called Zagorje, you know, in Croatia. Uh, that's even like, it's, it's quite big actually. It's not so. It's not some kind of re uh, city or something like that. It's it's quite a considerable sized region, um, and it's not only about the Zagorje, but you know, it's 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 about almost this entire region here, uh, Slavonia. All this, all this here. Croatia was uh, Cro Croatia in a in a in a in a big way. 
mixed with the Slovenian people. And this is what makes Croats different in a sense from Serbs and from others in my eyes. This is this is the main difference between the Croatia. Um, I don't want to talk about these regions. Uh, some people call them lost, some people whatever call them. I told you I have discussed in the, in the part one issue about the Trieste, about uh, what is known now as a modern Falcone, Nova Gorica, Gorica, etc., etc. Um, I'm not here to discuss these issues. I'm not here to make uh, the t uh, topics out of this. People ask me oh, about what, what we should do. The police, Slovenian police, were all the time was concerned, and Slovenian military also was concerned about this. Well, <laughs> uh, you know, um, this region here, Stairska, which is which is now Austria, was liberated by one guy whose name is Meister. You know, Rudolf Meister. Uh, his name is Rudolf Meister, this guy. You know, this uh, Slovenian guy with a German last name. Uh, went and uh, fought Germans and won the fight. Uh, however, with the Slovenian military. Uh, but, yeah, this is the thing with the Yugoslav flag. He gave himself a flag, a Yugo flag, basically. So, the Slovenian Rudolf Meister and the Slovenian military man, uh, sure enough, demonstrated Germans uh, the power of Yugoslavia. Even that uh, it was a Slovenia, little tiny Slovenian people who went and they fought and won the fight. Uh, the same shit happened uh, in uh, liberation of the of the Koroška on the Austrian side with Slovenian partisans uh, alone liberated from the German occupation uh, parts of what used to be Slovenia and uh, the same fucking shit happened uh, also in the Trieste, with the Slovenian, only Slovenian, maybe there was some Croat in there too, military entered as a partisan center to the Trieste and Gorica and liberated them uh, with the with Erdecha Bela Plava Nasha Jeza Stava. With this Yugo flag, uh, however, so that Italian or Austrian or German side, I should say, could not know who the fuck was it. Was it the Slovenian? Was it the really Serbs that came? Uh, who the fuck was it? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, you have to be imbecile. In my eyes, through my eyes, based on what I have gone through and that you dare to talk to somebody like myself about you know the classic the classic from the psychiatric hospital Ljubljana Polje the classic of psychiatrist Peter Kapsch yeah? the classic this is this genius here this psychiatr the mastermind uh, Slovensky uh, we have to see ourselves in one. We cannot be alone. Janus Ogulin from the Novo Mesto, you know. They all beamed Milan Kuchan views, you know. We, 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 we have to be with somebody, you know. You know, we have to be with somebody. Yeah, you can be. I don't give a fuck. You be it. Be it, motherfuckers. Be it. Be. Be, you fucking dogs. You fucking homeless dogs, swines. Be. Be, be, be your fucking dogs, Slovenian swines. Be. Plecheplasci, Srpski. Bodite. Ishite, psi, Slovenski. Do it. I'm not gonna say not. 
I'm not going to say not. Do it, do it, if you have to. If you have to. I told you about the tale about how my grandfather was fighting in a German uniform. Italians, Russians, in during the World War II, he had a family. Our family was at the main uh, train station booked for the Auschwitz for the extermination. Just so he could see his grandson being exterminated in Slovenia. Here, right here, by the Serbs, the so-called Yugoslavia. I demonstrated you how Slovenes liberated Trieste and Gorica and uh, Klagenfurt, Celovitz, Austria, uh, and uh, Lipnitz, uh, Graz area in Austria. And basically, what I didn't mention to you with the stroke of the pen, with the stroke of the pen, you know, stroke of the pen, Belgrade, Salt, Trieste, Gorica. Uh, just like this in Austria for some fucking parts over there uh, in a border with Romania, Bulgaria and uh, uh, you know, whatever else they uh, whatever they, they were carting, whatever they were throwing the cards on the table to play with, yes? Do it fucking dogs, do it. You're good you're good, your Slovenes are good man, you're good like a dogs uh, do it uh, see yourself, see yourself in a cross, see yourself whoever the fuck you see yourself, except don't see yourself in yourself. You know, that's why I had enough of it. That's why I didn't want to see, I don't see myself as a Slovene anymore, because it's disgusting. This is a, something disgusting, and it's nothing really to see yourself in. In where I see myself right now in the camera, at least I see myself. These people here, they don't have a face. They continue to do crime, they continue to do stuff. Actually, the crime, the stuff must go on, so because they believe that I'm going to see myself. Sure enough. Or maybe die or whatever. So, yes, do it. There is uh, Belgrade, not too far from here, about 70 kilometers from here. His name is Zagreb. 